Hello, good evening, everybody. Um, welcome to our Emerald Cruises Media Experts live virtual information session. Thank you for taking time to join us. Um, we do hope you find it very interesting and informative. So normally we run these sessions live in venues across the UK, but unfortunately with the current uh, pandemic, we're unable to do so. But with the wonders of modern technology, he says crossing fingers because my internet cut out during the rehearsal. <laughs> We're here live in your homes over the internet, so hopefully you can see and hear us all okay and we don't have any technical issues. So a few introductions, first of all. Hello, I'm Joseph Grimley, Director of Sales for Emerald Cruises UK. I've worked in the travel industry for 33 years now. I know what you're thinking. He started when he was four. Ha, boom, boom. <laughs> um, uh, just over two of those has been with Emerald Cruises. I'm presenting to you my home in Market Harbour in Leicestershire. And I'm joined this evening by um, two of our lovely sales managers. We have Wendy Hardy. Hi, Wendy. Hi, good evening. Good evening, everyone. And we have Danny Joel. Hello, good evening, everyone. And our special guest this evening is none other than Mr. David Winston. Hi, David. Hello there, good evening from, uh, well, I would normally say sunny Manchester, but it's quite dark. <laughs> as, as you can guess, all of our backgrounds tonight are virtual, a bit like most things in life at the moment, let's face it. Um, so uh, this may surprise you to, to learn that between the four of us, we've amassed over 100 years of experience in the travel industry. So when we say meet the experts, hopefully um, we can justify that for you this evening. So this evening, we'll be introducing you to our brand new, very exciting Super Cruise Yacht product, the Emerald Azura. We'll be taking a look at the ship, or the yacht, should I say? Sorry, David. Um, we'll tell you what is included on our yacht cruises. We'll give you a flavor of some of the itineraries that she will be sailing. And we'll then introduce you to David um, for our Q&A, and we'll be picking his brains um, all about Emerald yacht cruises. So um, we did ask you to submit some questions. Thank you for those of you that did. Um, we'll hopefully manage to answer these throughout the presentation. Um, if there's still something that you would like more information on, then please do talk to our uh, contact centre staff, ask your travel agent, or have a look on the brand new revamped Emerald Cruises website. Um, in addition tonight, I thought we'd take the opportunity while we're all here to have a, a very brief look, but a little look nonetheless, at our Emerald Cruises River Cruising product. And then to close the session, we have some fantastic special offers for you uh, and an exclusive bonus just for you attending tonight's uh, session. And we'll be announcing the winner of our £100 John Lewis gift voucher. So we've got a lot to cover. So... We really hope you enjoy our webinar. We hope you've got a nice cup of tea or a glass of something as you take uh, this journey with us. So without further ado, I'm going to hand over to Mr. Danny Joel. Thank you, Danny. Oh, thank you, Joseph, and welcome on board, everyone. So in this short webinar, we're gonna be covering the Emerald Cruise yacht experience, what's included, and what makes us stand out from the rest. What's it like on board our stunning new super yacht Emerald Azora? the superb amenities, the spacious suites, and why we're different. We'll give you a taste of some of our insightful itineraries, uh, which will demonstrate the real advantage of the small yacht cruising, allowing that unique access to the smaller ports and harbors. We'll also highlight our current super early bird offers for our fabulous 2022 cruises. And fingers crossed, at the end of the presentation, you'll be inspired to join us in one of our cruises of a lifetime throughout the Mediterranean, the Adriatic coast and the Red Sea on the beautiful Emerald Azora. So for those of you that don't know, Emerald Cruises is part of the luxury cruising and touring brand Scenic Group, which was established back in 1986. So this year we've got 35 years of experience. And Emerald Waterways was formed in 2014 to offer exceptional value European river cruising. And we're thrilled to have won various awards from the very first year which would include Crude Cruise Critic, the Brest New River Ship, and every year since, the best river line for value. And due to this success, many guests have asked when we're going to venture into the world of ocean cruising, particularly Europe. So yes, we've listened. We are bringing our award-winning reputation to the world's oceans and coastlines, along with our exceptional Emerald Value promise to create a five-star luxury, intimate yacht experience. 
And today we're really excited to present our unique, exceptional value, super yacht experience on board that brand new Emerald Azora. We all know there's a number of brands offering that luxury Mediterranean cruise. So it really pays to research what's included, what the price really is, and what you're getting for your money. And to reflect our move into ocean, we are now called Emerald Cruises. So we've had some pre-submitted questions already on the enhanced COVID policies, which hopefully I can answer here. So we all know the world may have changed. However, our commitment to our guests and our crew, the guest experience and their health, safety and well-being remains our key priority. We're continuously updating our protocols to safeguard the, both the health, the safety and the experience of our valued guests. You'll be informed about these important procedures well in advance of your journey departure, which may include the following information and the guidelines. Medical evaluation and PCR testing, contact-free check-in and check-out, socially aware dining, and also enhanced cleaning commitment. Our ships are also equipped with state-of-the-art circulation systems, meaning there's no air circulated inside the yacht. Everything, all the fresh air is from outside. So we really have thought of everything. So who wants to feel like a billionaire? I certainly do. Well, this is the magnificent Emerald Azora, just 110 meters long with only 50 suites, with a maximum of only 100 guests on board. And did you know that 88% of Emerald Azora's suites and staterooms have a balcony or terrace? However, all the cabins are outside. We've uniquely designed every one of our suites and staterooms to become our guests' own private haven, where everything is at their fingertips. I suppose it's just like cruising on a private yacht. Emerald Azura has been a custom design to dock in those smaller ports and harbours only the small yachts can reach, but large enough to offer superb space, comfort and luxurious onboard amenities. Due to Emerald Azura's intimate size, we can reach areas other yachts can't. We'll be venturing off that beaten track, cruising into smaller ports where guests will have the freedom to head off and explore those uncharted little towns and villages. As mentioned, it's not a cruise ship. It is a super yacht, so let's go yachting. So, wow, hopefully you can see the uh, infinity pool here. Um, wow, this is a stunning area. I love this area already. The infinity pool is larger than, oh, there you are, sorry, we started again. So, wow, this is the most stunning area. I love this area. This is the infinity pool, larger than your industry average. It's a massive seven by four meters located at the rear of the yacht. So as you sail through the beautiful Mediterranean, the Adriatic coast, the Red Sea, you can do it in style and relax in the pool. The sky deck, the spa pool, by far my favourite spot on the ship. This will offer unparalleled views of deck seven, the top deck. Just picture yourself in this spa pool, which seats up to nine people, maybe with a drink in the hand from the sky bar, surrounded by the stunning vistas of the Mediterranean, the Adriatic and the Red Sea. Or why don't you watch one of your blockbuster classics? James Bond's on here, I think. Yes, it is. As the sun sets and the evening begins, on selected evenings, guests can enjoy a film in this, under the stars in the sky bar. This is where I am now. I wish the Horizon Bar and Lounge. Like on our River Star ships, this will be the heart of the art. We will have state-of-the-art tea and coffee making facilities as well as a fully stocked bar. This is where the cruise director will give you an overview of what you can expect on a day-to-day -day basis. And if there's something you'd like in particular, particular, sorry, please let us know in advance and we'll do our very best to get it on board for you. You'll be amazed by the incredible amount of fresh produce we use in our spacious reflections restaurant and pool cafe. We'll buy the day's provisions in each port which means we support those local businesses while offering the freshest and the most delicious produce available. The Reflections restaurant offers around about three meters square per guest versus two meters squared from our competitors. 
the terrace. This is a whole new area on board Emerald Azora. The lovely alfresco space adjacent to the reflections of the restaurant, and this will see up to 48 guests. Oh, we have a question here from Bruce from Solihull. He has asked, oh, he's asked about the dress code on board. Okay, the dress code on board, Bruce, is very casual, very much like our starships, our river starships. So there's no compulsory dress code. However, some guests do like to dress up of an evening, maybe a shirt and trousers for the men and a nice dress for the ladies, but nothing set in stone, it's quite relaxed. With stunning views of the ocean, the Observation Lounge located on deck four is the perfect place to admire the spectacular coastlines or simply just watch the world sail by. It is your holiday and you are invited to cruise the way you want. Emerald Azura has a fully equipped gym and wellness area with state-of-the-art equipment. This will be really important for all of you that's eaten all that wonderful food. Um, but why not treat yourself to a massage or pamper yourself uh, with a beauty treatment by one of our professional beauty therapists? This is available at an additional cost. The ambience of the timber and the soft lighting is featured throughout the spa and the fitness area. And I've been told it really will be inviting. So now let's look at some of the accommodation on board. So no matter which suite or stateroom you choose, each will have a queen size or twin hotel style bed with the finest Egyptian cotton linen, an ensuite bathroom with luxurious toiletries, complimentary bathrobe and slippers, a flat screen HD TV, complimentary water restocked daily, complimentary Wi-Fi, individual climate control, a mini bar, and much, much more. But see our website or your brochure for full details. 88% of cabins have a balcony or terrace, but sometimes you need a simple but stylish place to stay. Our great value ocean staterooms located on deck three are supremely comfortable and more compact than some of our suites, but all have all the same amenities, the same beds, the en suites, the storage, TV, the air conditioning, etc. These are located on the Emerald Deck. The, em uh, the Ocean View state rooms are around about 17 to 19 meters squared, and they have that large picture window, which you can see at the back right there. Oh, we have another question from Lindsay from Dunham. She has asked if solo travelers are able to sail with Emerald Cruises. The answer to your question, Lindsay, is yes, we do accept solo travelers. So moving on to decks four and five, the observation deck, the panorama decks, you'll find our balcony staterooms. These balcony staterooms are between 26.5 and 28.5 meters squared, and they have their own private outdoor balcony. A deluxe version of these can be found on deck six, and they boast around 37 meters squared. Our deluxe suites are conveniently located on the pool deck featuring a separate bedroom and lounge, along with their own private balcony. With just two per yacht, you'll benefit from having the extra space for your assured comfort. Our terrace suites are located on deck five, the panorama deck, and they're a roomy 60 to 62 square meters. And as the name suggests, you have your own private terrace. Look at that sweeping terrace. I just can imagine myself on that sun deck on the left there. Plus a range of extra benefits. The additional inclusions will be your own private terrace, a pillow menu, a welcome bottle of champagne, a fruit platter on arrival, a, a four mini bar, which is replenished daily, coffee and tea making facilities, and two items laundered daily. Located at the back of deck four, the observation deck, our spacious yacht suites are around 65 to 67 meters squared including your own private outdoor terrace. And now we're coming to the pinnacle, the most prestigious suites, the owner suites. These oversized suites, larger than my apartment, may I add, are a massive 108 to 110 meters squared. And they're found on deck six, six sorry, the pool deck. And you'll have the stunning views of the coastline and those little ports. These suites will have more features than any of our other suites on board. And in addition to the previous inclusions, you can enjoy a separate bedroom and lounge area, pre-dinner canapes, after dinner suites, and four items laundered daily. Wow, that is impressive. Now I'm gonna hand you over to the lovely Wendy, who will give you an overview of our truly unique and tailor-made itineraries. Over to you, Wendy. 
Oh, Danny, thank you so very, very much. I think you really are in the Mediterranean and sailing the seas. We lost your camera just a moment ago. Um, oh, doesn't all that look absolutely incredible? I've already got my eyes on one of those seats on the sky bar. Do you think James Bond will be there? Uh, but I think you'll agree the experience on board, the stunning Emerald Azura will be exceptional. But you know what else will be truly spectacular? The design. She's been custom designed to allow unique access to fascinating ports and harbours only small yachts can reach. So let's have a look at the cruise collection and the magnificent locations we will sail to. In January 2022, Emerald Azura will start sailing in the Red Sea, and then she follows the sun to the Eastern Mediterranean, Adriatic coast and Western Mediterranean. Now, each cruise has been carefully designed to give our guests the freedom to explore at their own pace. That's what holidays are all about, isn't it? Now, as I go through the destinations and cruises on the upcoming slides, I'll highlight just a taste of the small ports and harbours you can experience. I'll also highlight an example of just some of the cruises that can be experienced. Sorry, I think I might have said that line twice. <laughs> you can find the full range on our website in the brochure or you can speak to your travel agent. Now, let's start with the Adriatic coast. That would be nice, wouldn't it? The Adriatic Sea separates the Italian peninsula from the Balkan peninsula and the waters of the Adriatic coast provide access to some of Europe's most exciting ports. You can look forward to Croatia's Hoa, Split, Kruk, Korsula. Kotor Montenegro actually happens to be probably one of my favourite destinations and Solonda on the Albanian Riviera. Now on all of the cruises, if you want to experience in more detail the destination that you embark the Emerald Azura or you end your holiday, you can add on a pre or post stay. Let's have a little look at the eight day Mediterranean enchantment. It starts in Piraeus, which is the gateway for Athens and then journey ends in Dubrovnik. Now you can also do this itinerary in reverse. Some of the highlights will be the Corinth Canal. This is built during the 19th century and the, Can the Corinth Canal connects the Adriatic and the Aegean seas. It's six and a half kilometers long in length and only 21 and a half meters wide. I'm really lucky. I've been through this quite a few times on very big ocean cruise ships and you can't really get the gist of how, how, what it's all like, but going through it on Emerald Azura, ah, oh, you really will be able to experience it. Now, uh, KOTOR is a real hidden gem, as I said, the fortified city of, is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. You can get lost in the cobblestone streets, lovely cafes, squares, and churches. Now, let's also have a little look at the eight day Croatia in depth. Cruises from the Gulf Which of Venice. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> you know, this is live now, don't you? And not pre-recorded. My um, Alexa has decided it would like to talk to me. <laughs> Alexa, I'm exceptionally busy. From the top, eight day Croatia in depth. Cruises from the Gulf of Venice along the Dalmatian coast. And you can island hop in Croatia. It starts in Venice, so magical part of the sail away from here and it ends in Dubrovnik and it operates in reverse. I think the Emerald Azura will be right at home here. What do you think? The Eastern Mediterranean encompasses a variety of stunning locations, many of which have been the setting for legendary battles and lasting myths. Yes, we'll be able to explore vibrant cities, embracing modernity while paying their respects to a fascinating past. You can visit Santorini, Kusadasi, Pathos and Istanbul and that is just to name a few. Pescado, what you can actually see on this picture here, 
is your gateway to the magical island of Catalonia, made famous by the classic film Captain Corelli's Mandolin. Discover the Paradise Island on the eight-day Greek islands and Turkish coastline, or on the longer Mediterranean and Aegean Sea itineraries. We'll start in Athens and finish in Athens. You'll visit the likes of Mykonos and Rhodes, which are the more well-known Greek islands, and Kusadasi and Bodrum in Turkey. But almost a secret untouched hideaway is Amoragosh, the furthest eastern island of the Cyclades. 11 day Aegean reflections start in Piraeus, Athens and end in Limassol in Cyprus. Your adventure takes you to the Greek island of Amopoli and the coastal port of Volos before heading to Turkey and taking in the Turkish capital of Istanbul. Heading south, you will have the opportunity to explore Kusadasi in Bodrum, Turkey, and Rhodes in Greece. Now let's head to the Western Mediterranean. The Western Mediterranean is all about the glamour from Italian southern and western coastlines to the French Riviera. Experience the allure of the Côte d'Azur and witness, witness Italy's coastal beauty as it stretches from the Apulia region to Sicily, the Amalfi Coast, and right to the Bay of Naples. Oh, the romance of it all. And you can experience an eight day French and Italian Rivieras with Corsica, starting in Sidovecchia, which is the gateway to Rome, and ending in Nice. You can visit Porto Ecole, perched on the coast of Tuscany, a real hidden gem. Ah, Portoferio, one of the oldest towns on Elba Island, the seaside town of Monton in France, which is nestled between Monaco and Italy. You also have these immersive itineraries in southern Italy, the Ionian Sea and the Gulf of Naples. The Red Sea. Oh. Here to some of the world, sorry, home to some of the world's warmest and saltiest seawater. The Red Sea is a remarkable body of water where technical coral reef displays draw divers from around the world to view its thriving biodiversity and luxury resorts. Lines its shores. Of course, its part to play in, in biblical history excites and intrigues intrepid explorers who flock to witness its powerful divine properties. Highlights what you can experience. Sharm el Sheikh, amazing for snorkeling. Aqaba, Jordan's only coastal city. And Haifa is a northern Israel's largest city. You have a really good selection of itineraries and different lengths of journeys but I have to mention the eight day Holy Land at Christmas time. I'm really looking to have experienced this and it is, it will always stay with me. You can have a festival itinerary of biblical proportions commencing in the Cypriot city of Limassol and sailing onwards to Port Said in Egypt. You'll kick off Israeli city of Haifa, set on the hills of Mount Carmel and Ashdod where the tomb of Jonah is believed to exist on Yonah's hill. Oh, I really do have my bags packed already. I really do. <laughs> For all of these incredible small ports and harbours that are awaiting to welcome the Emerald Azura. Now, I have a question as well. Good evening, Lisa from a Market Harbour. Oh, I wonder if one of Josie's neighbours may be. Um, Lisa has asked what's included with Emerald Cruises. So Lisa, you, you'll enjoy exceptional Emerald value. But what does this mean? All of your travel is taken care of, return flights from the UK, airport transfers, port charges and taxis, all tipping and gratuities and Wi-Fi. To send pics home if you would like, I would like, I'd be a little bit boasty. Um, you also get all of your inspiring excursions with experienced cruise directors and local guides. Now this really does make the difference when you immerse yourself into a region, when you hear the passion 
and the knowledge from the local guides. You'll be able to enjoy authentic included adventures that take you into the cultural heart of each destination with our exclusive Emerald Plus events. Always the first thing you tell your friends and family about. Our included Emerald Active experiences will help you stay fit as you explore the sites on shore. All your meals included while cruising. Wine, beer and soft drinks served with lunch and dinner, tea and coffee is available throughout the day and water in your cabin is restocked daily. Hopefully that answered the question for you there, Lisa. Our new 2022 brochure is available and to view and download now. Find your copy on our website or speak to your friendly local travel agent, get in touch with our contact centre. And 2023 is coming soon. We all need something to look forward to, don't we? Now, it's the time we've been looking for. I'm going to pass back to Joseph, who will be talking with our very special guest. Over to you, Joseph. Thank you, Wendy, and thank you, Danny. Uh, Wendy, I think it's brilliant that your Alexa is listening to the presentation. <laughs> Excellent. Yes, excellent. I was like, be professional now, Wendy, just keep talking. <laughs> um, okay, so um, now for our Q&A with David Winston, our Director of Global Brand and Marketing for Emerald Cruises. So good evening again, David. Good evening. I'm just looking at that picture. It's a, it's a few years old now, isn't it? I've gone a lot greyer and shorter hair. I was, I was, I was going to say... <laughs> Need to um, my photo. <laughs> so let's kick off with the question. So Emerald Azura is Emerald Cruises' first ocean yacht. So tell us about why Emerald Cruises has expanded into ocean cruising. Wow, uh, straight in with the probing questions there. Uh, okay, to, to, to answer this one, uh, Danny touched on it uh, in his presentation, but um, I'll take us back seven years when uh, I started with the company. It was our first day. We, uh, we were launching our brand new river ship on the banks of uh, Amsterdam. Twiggy was our godmother of the Emerald Sky. And I think at the time we just planned to have two or three river ships sailing up and down Rhine and Danube. Um, what we didn't realize at that time was that we actually were creating something very, very special. And um, our guests actually loved and enjoyed sailing with us. And so over the last few years, we've built up a, a lot of returning guests who love sailing with us. And they keep asking, where can we go next with Emerald Cruises? We started on the Rhine, the Danube. We then moved to uh, the Rhone uh, in Southern France. We built a ship there. We then built another ship uh, for the Douro in, in Portugal. And still, our guests said, right, we've done the Rhine, we've done the Danube, we've done the Douro, we've done the Rhone, where next? So our, our latest ship was the, the uh, Emerald Harmony on the Mekong. Uh, she launched just uh, August 2019. So we've pretty much got the rivers, the main rivers, the best rivers covered. Uh, and our guests are saying, OK, where are you going to take us next? So a kind of a natural progression is ocean. Um, but we didn't want to build big 6,000, 5,000 ocean liners. We wanted to keep the spirit of uh, our river ships, which are all between 84 and 180 guests on board. That small ship experience, uh, you get to know everybody, you get to know the staff, you can hop off. So for river ships, you can't you know, you go straight into the heart of cities, Amsterdam, you wander off, Budapest, you walk around, uh, you can do all these things within uh, minutes of getting off the ship. So we wanted to do that experience on the oceans. And so it fits great. Our Emerald Azura has 100 guests on board. And as Danny and Wendy said, we're going to sail straight into the heart of these little harbours and ports. And people are just drop off and wander in, have some meze, have some tapas, and go exploring. Uh, so yeah, so that's, that's the reason why we're going into yachts. Um, right. And it's okay. doing very well. If, if you're going to go into the oceans, then what, what a way to do it. I remember the first time I saw an image of Emerald Azura, so you know, just, just mouth open, thinking, wow, that is so cool. If, if cool is still a cool word. Well, <laughs> it is. It's incredible, <laughs> incredible, it is. cool and impressive. Um, so uh, we've heard from Wendy some of the exciting um, places that Emerald Azura is set to sail to. Um, which particularly interests you, David? 
Oh, blimey. Um, I've got to say, um, we have 12 itineraries. You can combine them to make another five or six itineraries for 2022. And I'm just listening to Wendy there. It's like, do you know what? I could probably live on that yacht year round. I'll pack my cat and I'll go and live on that yacht because these itineraries are just stunning. But you did force me. You told me to only pick three. So I, I have tried to pick three of my, my favorites and I can't wait to get on board with these. Um, the first one, discover the wonders of the Red Sea. Um, the reason why I picked this one is because it's actually the first itinerary. So she's actually being built uh, currently, and I'll go on to talk about that a bit later, and she'll sail into the Red Sea, and the Red Sea will be her first region that she sails. Uh, and this itinerary just encapsulates uh, everything about the Red Sea. You'll start in Akapa uh, in, in Jordan uh, before going to Egypt, and you'll see that there's some familiar ports there, Agada, Sharm el-Sheikh, but of course, you'll be seeing it not from visiting by plane and then staying at a hotel, you'll be sailing in on your own super yacht. So you'll see it from a very different angle before heading to Alat. Um, that's a great destination for uh, snorkeling. There's the, uh, the dolphin reef there uh, and also great beaches that you can go and relax. Uh, so that looks fantastic. And then you head back to Akaba. Uh, Gabba is actually well known for the Wadi Rum uh, dessert, dessert, sorry, desert. Um, and uh, you'll be able to take some carts and go off uh, driving into the desert or uh, just take the guided tour uh, and go and visit there. One something that I haven't done yet, and this is really stands out for me, is that on day 11, you'll see Suez Canal. Now, I, I've just seen pictures of the Suez Canal and it's a, a thin man-made canal taking you from the Red Sea into the Mediterranean and you almost want to squeeze in thinking you're not going to get through but of course our yacht will get through there easy but it looks absolutely stunning and then you'll head to Israel of course Ashdod is the home port for Jerusalem and Bethlehem you can take a, a discover more excursion there uh, before going to Haifa uh, you've got some stunning gardens there that you can go and visit and you'll end in Limassol now, Limsol in Cyprus uh, is, is my favorite. Uh, I'm slightly biased. My partner is Cypriot. Uh, we have a second home there. And so I know anybody that's going to Limsol is gonna have the warmest of welcomes. The people are absolutely fabulous. Hop off, go and have a wander around the marina, have some gorgeous fresh fish uh, cooked. And they actually make some fabulous red wine in Cyprus. So don't forget to, uh, to try that as well. So that's my first itinerary that I'm, I'm kind of looking forward to. Uh, second one, uh, it's a slightly different region. Uh, we, we start in Italy and you're going to see uh, the southern Italy and then move into uh, Croatia. Uh, and you start in Rome, obviously the capital. The port is about 90 minutes drive away. So it's uh, just a morning excursion into, into Rome to, to don't miss that. And then you soon head south and you head to the Amalfi Coast where you've got the opportunity to do kayaking. Um, or uh, again, take the snorkels out, great beach uh, along there, before heading to Sicily uh, and, and then round the foot of, of, uh, of Italy. And then you go up to Croatia and don't know if anybody's been to Croatia and the stunning, stunning coastline uh, up across uh, Croatia, all those little flat hundreds of islands. It's just so picturesque, great for uh, snorkeling, take the uh, marina toys, jump off the back of the yacht uh, and just go snorkel in the, in the crystal clear waters. Just absolutely stunning. Um, you've got Crick on day four. Uh, it's a gorgeous island where again, you can go kayaking uh, or just take the snorkeling gear uh, and, and have a swim around. And then you end in Venice. And of course we all know Venice, Venice uh, with its canals and gondolas, a perfect way to end that itinerary. Of course, you can actually, uh, with us, stay a couple of extra nights in Venice on one of our city stays uh, to explore further. My third one. Now, Wendy's described. In private, maybe not your own, but private uh, super jet, super yacht even. Um, and sail southern France and then into Italy uh, and Portofino and this is actually uh, an image of uh, Emerald Azura in Portofino um, so you can see how, how stunning it is and how actual close you get uh, to the ports uh, then you will head um, round Corsica 
um, with lots of lovely little villages and quaint villages and cobbled villages to, to go and explore before heading down to Rome. You can go off and do your excursion uh, into Rome and then you'll carry on down uh, south, uh, Amalfi Coast uh, and Giordani Naxos in Sicily. Um, that's actually home of Godfather and we actually put on a Godfather tour for you to uh, go and have a explore uh, one morning. And then you head round the foot of uh, Italy and, and up to Dubrovnik uh, and finish your, your cruise in Dubrovnik. And again, we offer a two or three night uh, city stay in Dubrovnik that you can take time to explore further. So there are my three itineraries that really take my fancy and um, I can't wait to get on board. Um, I just wanted to highlight that we, for 2023, which as Wendy mentioned, is just coming on sale, um, we are going to take uh, Emerald Azura into the Black Sea. So she will start in Athens. She'll do a couple of the uh, Greek islands, Mykonos, uh, uh, sorry, Santorini, and then she'll head up to Istanbul. Uh, and then she'll enter the Black Sea and go around the Black Sea and take in some really unique uh, countries such as Bulgaria, Rom uh, Romania, and even Russia. So that's something to look forward to if you're, you're planning uh, your 2023 cruise. Okay, brilliant. How do you, Joseph? I think I, I agree with all of those. <laughs> I just want to... <laughs> um, I must just... Uh, forgive me if I uh, pronounce some of those incorrect because we're still learning those, uh, the, the way to say them, so forgive me. <laughs> Don't worry, probably better than my pronunciation, I have to say. Um, so Emerald Azira is set to sail um, in January 2022. Um, can you tell us how the build's going? Yes, uh, short answer, brilliantly. Um, the long answer, and, and the one I'm sure you're more interested in, in, in hearing, is that uh, Emerald Azura started being built uh, last February, uh, just before COVID hit. Uh, and so she has been, continued to being built. Uh, there was delays in um, supply chain, being totally honest, uh, but she continued to uh, be built. And she actually floated out, so she entered the water uh, in December, just one month before uh, or delayed, but she was originally. Um, but she's made up great progress. And uh, I was actually speaking to the team uh, this morning. Uh, that she's actually being built in Vietnam, in Halong Bay. Uh, and I was speaking to them this morning and uh, they got very technical with me. They were saying that, oh yes, we started the piping. And I had to ask, what, what's the piping? And so it's the miles and miles of pipes and wires that you don't actually get to see. And they're all being put in the internal um, side and then they're planning to start fitting the internal starting with the cabins um, in May, in June time uh, and that should be complete in August and then she'll do her sea trials end of September beginning of October uh, and then she'll be ready uh, and then she can take a leisurely sail round from Vietnam to the Red Sea when she starts on the 28th of January so there's plenty of time uh, and she's she's well on schedule. So we're very excited. By the way, if anybody wants to have a look at the uh, float out video, uh, pop to our Emerald Cruises YouTube page, or it's on the website. We were gonna show it this evening, but we know how temperamental Zoom is. So uh, we thought we'd better not try that on. Uh, but definitely it's a nice little three minute video that you can watch her entering the water. Brilliant, thank you. Um, so next question for you, David. And talking of technical. <laughs> <laughs> what, what are you most looking forward to on board? Oh, there she is. Oh my God, I'm so excited, Like just like Wendy. Um, I'm just so excited about that. I mean, there's so many areas that um, are consistent with our river ships. So if you have sailed with us on the rivers, uh, you'll know that there's a Horizon Bar and Lounge. There's a Reflections restaurant. Um, so there's a sun deck, there's all these areas, but something that's quite new to um, Emerald Azura is the observation lounge, which is at the front of, of the yacht. You can go in there, if you've got binoculars, we'll obviously have binoculars as well, and you can just watch the scenery, you can watch as you sail into these ports, maybe see the odd dolphin or uh, wildlife, uh, that's a great area. But there's two, two areas that I, I just can't wait to get on board. Now, I'm from Norfolk, so uh, the Norfolk Broads, and uh, I'm a water baby. So I just love anything to do with, with water. So it's kind of no surprise if we reveal my first place. Uh, next slide is actually the pool, the infinity pool. Uh, Danny showed some images earlier uh, 
I mean, it just looks absolutely stunning. Can you just imagine that you're having a cocktail and you're dipping in the pool and you sail into Nice or you sail into Venice or Dubrovnik? It's just going to be stunning. I mean, that is a, a picture of Dubrovnik. So that's actually what it's going to look like. I mean, you can just imagine us all sat there around there. Uh, just brilliant. Um, my other area, again, on water theme, uh, is the marina platform. Uh, this is at the back of the of the yacht, as you can imagine, and um, it's as you can see, you just jump off. Brilliant! We're going to be stopping uh, all along the coastline, and uh, we have flotation um, paddle boards, we have floating pads, we have snorkeling equipment, and um, you can just get uh, and get into the water and just go exploring. Uh, uh, we've got a zodiac uh, for when we are anchoring off. Out of the port, the kayaks will take us into the port, but also on other days it will take us for a little journey around around the area. So yeah, that's that's the, that's the other area that I'm looking forward to. Um, and if we just move on to the to the other slide, you can see uh, Emerald Azura in uh, Croatia you, with people using the paddle boats and paddle boards. Excellent. I can just imagine just. Diving off that marina platform, the crystal clear waters of the Greek islands or Croatian coast or Turkey. <laughs> nice to dream at the moment. Um, so next question I have for you, David. Um, David from Birmingham has asked about included tours. Can you tell us a little more about the excursions and activities which are included on board Emerald Azure? Yeah. Um, so again, the, uh, people that have uh, cruised with us before, you will know that we have a, an included excursion, uh, generally an orientation tour of the ports, um, and you'll take we'll take you around, and that's included in, in your cruise. We then have other optional uh, excursions such as Emerald Active hiking and biking. We also have MR Plus, which there's little extra uh, special events uh, on board. Uh, well, we, we want to be consistent and we can continue to be consistent on our yacht cruises as well. So you'll see that we include uh, two or three included excursions per uh, cruise. We have the Emerald Active, we're gonna have the bikes. Uh, we're gonna have activity managers. Uh, they may be slightly different. They may be doing entertainment as well. Um, and we have our Emerald process. So they're all included in, 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 the, in the price. We will have, uh, as we do on the rivers, a Discover More optional uh, excursion package that you'll be able to go in and immerse yourself further uh, if you want. Um, they're optional. Uh, they'll probably be anything from around uh, 20 euros up to about 50, 55 euros per person to do those. But I'd say they're totally optional. Excellent. Thank Hopefully you. that'll answer your question, David. Finally, um, Stephanie has asked, um, where in the world would you go first when travel is allowed? Oh, okay. Well, it's going to be on, on Emerald Azura, uh, I have to say. Um, funny, I, I, some of you may have uh, watched, uh, probably about 18 months ago now, Julia Bradbury. She uh, went to Greece. Her family, her mother is Greek, and she went and found uh, her history, and she went around all the Greek islands, and she just sold it to me. And it's somewhere that I've not actually uh, been to. I've been to Halkidiki. That's all I've been to. So I'm really looking forward to uh, going to Greece and going to some of these islands, Mykonos, um, Santorini, um, and, all, and Rhodes and Corfu. Uh, I really want to go with that. And thank, thanks to Julia Bradbury. Um, some of us at a certain age might say I'm more Shirley Valentine, but I like to think I'm more Julie Bradbury. You talk to the wall then, David. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, island hopping around the Greek islands in style. I mean, wow. <laughs> Absolutely. I'll come with you there totally. Um, okay, I'm just going to move on. Um, so, David, thank you very much um, for that insight and your um, information on Emerald Azura. I have to say, you're probably the closest person in the UK office to the Emerald Azura, so we all sort of clam around David for, for, as we get fed new bits of information through. It's really, uh, it's really, really exciting. Um, just have to say, a few of you have been clicking on the raise hands um, function on Zoom webinar. I should explain it at the beginning. I do apologise. Um, we, we asked if um, we asked you to submit questions beforehand because it's just a little bit difficult to start answering questions as we go along because we kind of it's hard enough to keep it keep it all in one piece as it is without sort of going off on a tangent and lose, leave, losing our flow. So if you do still have any 
remaining questions outstanding at the end, then please do um, give us a call uh, to our, our call centre um, or talk to your travel agent who, who are very experienced on Emerald Azura or, or have a look on the website. There's, there's really loads and loads of information on there. So, um, and now for something completely different in the words of Monty Python, I'm going to hand you back to Danny and Wendy. And Danny and Wendy, when I say a very brief overview, I'm sort of looking at my watch here, um, a very brief overview on our Emerald Cruises River Crew programs. So um, back over to you guys. Ah, oh, thank you, Joseph. Uh, and welcome, yeah, to the world of Europe. Euro Sorry, put my teeth back in. Emerald <laughs> European River Cruising. Hopefully my camera is going to stay on now I'm on the river. My apologies for that earlier on. Okay, so I'm just going to highlight some of our key features on our wonderful fleet of river ships. So we have eight in our European fleet and they're all called starships. Yes, starships. And they dock right in the center of the towns and cities, taking you right to the heart of the action. They're small ships um, and they're intimate fleet with a minimum of 112 to a maximum 180 on board. They have an innovative indoor pool with retractable roof. Yes, which magically turns into a cinema of an evening. And I've witnessed this, believe me, it's absolutely amazing. However, on board the Emerald Radiance on the Douro, it has a spa style serenity pool on the sun deck where you can enjoy the wonderful Portuguese sun. The panoramic sun deck has a games area, sun lounges and much more. Uh, the stylish suites and staterooms, again, your own private haven, boast the best amenities and private balconies. The Horizon Bar and Lounge, as David mentioned earlier, all the local and traditional entertainments included. We have a gym, a wellness area, at Reflections Restaurant, delicious dining, and to accompany lunch and dinner, we provide you with alcoholic drinks and soft drinks. And no means least, we've got the terrace for our fresco drinks and light bites. So I haven't got time to go through all of our wonderful itineraries, because uh, I'm on a time limit here, Joseph said. However, um, <laughs> So however, as you can see from this slide, uh, we cruise all the main rivers of Europe, including the Rhine, Maine and Danube, the two French rivers, the Rhone and the Seine, and the ever more popular Douro River. But so for more information on the individual itineraries, please contact your local travel agent or visit us online at www.emeraldcruises.co.uk. However, some of our more popular itineraries, and these are good for clients that are new to river, uh, and just to highlight those quickly, so we've got the eight-day Danube Delights, Regensburg to Budapest. We have the eight-day Jewels of the Rhine, Amsterdam right the way down to Basel. The eight-day Sensations of Lyon and Provence, that's Lyon to Marseille. And then the eight-day Secrets of the Douro. This is, uh, goes from Porto right the way up to Salamanca in Spain, and then reversed back through the beautiful Douro Valley, stopping at all those little towns and villages and ending back in Porto, that stunning city of Porto. So now that's me, that was brief enough, I hope, Joseph. So now I'm gonna pass <laughs> you back to Wendy, who will take you your Emerald River journey further afield. Thank you very much, Danny. Now I know Joseph was talking to me about being brief, because you know I get excited and like to talk a lot. So I will do my best. So it's my pleasure to introduce you to Emerald Harmony, our authentic Asian style starship that's fused with their signature contemporary design. She's owned and operated by Emerald Cruises. And like other smaller side ships, we have specifically designed the Emerald Harmony to sail into the center of Ho Chi Minh City, allowing us to dock in the heart of this fantastic city. She's intimate, 84 guests on board, excellent staff to guest ratio, with lots of features and amenities that you know and love from their fleet of starships that sail the European rivers. Join Emerald Cruises for a journey on the exotic waters of the Mekong and immerse yourself in the wonders of Southeast Asia. And we've combined the very best river cruising and touring to take you through the spiritual landscapes of Vietnam and Cambodia. Each of our immersive meet each of our immersive Mekong River itineraries include a seven night river cruise with city stays and tours in Ho Chi Minh City and Siem Reap. This is the gateway to the iconic Angkor Wat temples. 
here are three of our Southeast Asia River Cruise itineraries. You can choose from 15, 19, and 23 days. That was just a real little taste of what you can experience on Emerald Cruises River Cruises in Southeast Asia. Right, now, I want to take you back onto our wonderful Emerald Cruises Yacht Cruises. So we need to talk about, we've got some fantastic offers for 2022. Now, we currently have an exceptional super early bird offer with a range of savings up to 30% on our 2020, 20, <laughs> 2022 departures. <laughs> Simply book one of these gorgeous suites or state rooms now and pay full 12 months in advance and travel to maximize your savings. Book with confidence as their deposit protection plan and flexible booking policies are both included. You know, we know the world is changing, but we will allow you to book with confidence and then you will be able to cruise with confidence. Now, our regular early airfare, air, start again, when get those teeth back in again, our regular early bird fare discount offer savings of up to 20%. Now, be quick, as we only have a limited super early bird fare is available and once they're gone they're gone now as a big thank you so really do appreciate your time this evening joining us we'd like to uh, offer you a very special webinar exclusive savings so this is an additional yes additional 250 pound savings per person which is combinable with all of our current campaign offers and our 2022 cruises you just need to make a note of the offer code. So it's show EC250. And you can book that by calling through to our reservations team online or by your travel agent. Now, um, I've got another question here from Geraldine at West, West Drayton. And she's asked if we cater for groups. Geraldine, we do indeed. And currently we have some really great, fantastic group offers available. We would We'll be delighted to hear from you. Now, once you've travelled with Emerald Cruises, you become an Emerald Explorer member. You'll receive exclusive deals and discounts for future travel. So make sure you quote the code when you book. Now, every time you travel, you'll also receive discount vouchers for you and a friend. And when your friend books, you'll also earn a referral discount. Explorer deals are combinable with their special offers. The more you travel, the greater the rewards. Now, Joseph, I know you've got a special announcement to make. Have you? Have you got something to tell everybody? You know what? Yeah, I have. I have. Um, I think uh, ah! people are enjoying the presentation this evening. And I think one person who's watching is going to be a little bit happier than everybody else. If your name is Diane Loke, Diane Loke. Congratulations, you've won a hundred pounds John Lewis gift voucher. Have fun spending that. Um, it will be an e-gift voucher, so it will be coming to you through your email inbox. So watch out for that uh, email and you've just got a hundred pound voucher. Lucky you. Okay, um, so ladies and gentlemen, we're coming towards the end of the presentation now. I hope that you've been inspired to take a cruise on board a brand new luxurious super yacht Emerald Azura in 2022 or perhaps 2023. Um, you can book now with full peace of mind, as Wendy said, and have something amazing to look forward to. And yeah, let's face it, we all need something amazing to look forward to at the moment, don't we? Um, you can book online on our website, emeraldcruises.co.uk. You can call our contact centre and speak to our friendly reservation staff, or you can uh, talk to your local or your preferred travel agents, and they're all bookable through travel agents. Don't forget to quote the extra discount code because that is, just looking down here, show EC250. If you didn't write it down and you missed the slide, you're like, oh no, I missed it. Write it down now, get your pen. Show S-H-O-W-E-C 250. If you book within a week, you get an extra 250 pounds discount each. So if there's two of you, that's 500 quid. Not bad, huh? Um, so also, um, just um, Geraldine, you asked about groups and Wendy said, yeah, we have great group offers, which we do. But guess what, Geraldine, if you have 99 friends, why not charter the Emerald Azura? That'd be pretty cool. So if you've got a group of 100 and you want the whole thing, then 
talk to us, that could be possible. Um, but finally, before we go, I would like to say a few thank yous. Um, first of all, Danny, Joel, thank you very much, sir. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you, Joseph. Thank you, everyone. And Wendy Hardy. Thank you, Wendy. Thank you. Thanks for having me. And David Winston. Always a pleasure. Thank you very much, David. Thank you for inviting me. Great time. Thank you. <laughs> and thanks to you for tuning in. We hope that you found it interesting and enlightening, inspiring, dare, dare I say. Um, so thank you very much. That concludes our presentation this evening. So enjoy the rest of your evenings, everybody. Good night.